My grandpa once said that the wall has an edge, and people used to live at the bottom of it, on the ground. He said the earth was round. Sounds crazy, right? How can one live on a ball? And how would he know about the supposed bottom of it? We've been living on the wall for several generations at least, and so far no one has found even a hint of a top or bottom. The wall stretches infinitely in all directions, and its bowels provide us with everything we need. It wouldn't be that bad, actually, if it weren't for the Xyrex. These creatures attack like clockwork. So you don't want to go too far beyond the perimeter, but sometimes we still have to make these forays. Sooner or later, the current mines are depleted. The only chance of surviving such an expedition is your Robo Spider, and the Wall Digger exosuit connected to it. But even with proper equipment, not everyone returns. In fact, not even half of them do. For some reason, I increasingly want to believe that the ones who don't return have found that very edge my grandpa spoke about. Maybe his words affected me more than I thought. Maybe that's why I became a wall digger too, to find the edge of the wall. Hello, one and all, this is Luckless Love Locks. Welcome to Wall World. This looks awesome. I'd like to thank Alawar and Vicarious for the copy to play with all of you. This is an early version of the game, so there's going to be some issues with it, probably, that may be sorted and maybe some different content from what you guys are going to play when it fully releases on April 5th. This is a game like Dome Keeper, which we've loved on the channel, but we can move the base up and down the wall. There's a mysterious story that unfolds through exploration. There's, as you can see, gorgeous pixel art and animations, and it just sounds freaking perfect to me. I think we're gonna like it. I haven't played any of it yet. This is totally blind, so I'm not gonna be amazing at it. I just opened up a profile. It looks like there's some upgrades we can get. Outer shell mark two, masking plate, hook, engine, but I've got no money, so it's not like we can buy anything right now. Let's just jump in and see how it plays. Need to find the entrance to the mine. So we've got a timer that's counting down. I think we should probably move. Found the entrance, so that's what uh, looks like there. Enter the mine with Y, put your Robo Spider in stationary mode and start digging. Oh, it's so cool. And we hit B to start mining. Right trigger to break a rock with your plasma drill. And then left trigger to use your vacuum to collect dropped resources. And then we go back to the spider to, to unload our resources. The Xyrex are attacking the spider! Need to connect. Okay. Oh, it takes a while for the gun to go around, just like in Dome Keeper, eh? Awesome! Our first defense! Not bad. Oh, it's so cool! It is like... I, I, I love Dome Keeper. It's probably the game I played the most last year. Because I loved playing it and you guys loved watching it, so it's just kind of that perfect game. And it's just amazing to me that there's... A, for lack of a better term, a Dome Keeper-like already coming out! with some similar mechanics and some different ones. Looks like we're getting some sparklies. Whatever the currency is. Just by digging anything. It looks like we can only carry a certain number of resources. I'm assuming that's what that... Yeah, see, I can't suck it up anymore. That's what that bar is down below. And I see there's some other uh, meters. I guess that's our health. I don't know what the other things are. Should I be just mining everything? Oh, I see. I don't have to be right next to it. Oh, God. They're flying dudes. Took a few hits, I guess. And we're good. 
You can jump into the spider at any time and go along the wall in search of more promising mines. Okay. So you maybe want to keep moving. We're gradually going to work out what the best strategies are. But for now, I say we explore as much as possible just to see what what the different mines have to offer. Looks like the there's probably power and maybe shield. It's like that red bar is going up. Okay, I feel like we've exhausted this. Oh, no, I didn't get that. You have to, you have to like really aim that vacuum. Upgrades, let's take a look at this. The timer stops when we're doing upgrades. There's a machine gun. We can buy enhanced bearings, plus 30% gun rotation speed. Machine gun belt, plus 25% machine gun fire rate. Expanding bullets, plus 35% damage from every bullet. Then we have exosuit upgrades, repulsors, plus 20% move speed in the mine. Plasma stability, plus 20% plasma drill range. Plasma cutter, plus five drilling efficiency. I feel like we're drilling pretty slowly. And then it looks like this is a resource we haven't gotten yet. Ceramic crystal research unlocks the Robo Spider repair talent using ceramic crystals. Repair, restore 15%, unlimited use. Bio repair research unlocks the Robo Spider repair talent using hypercells. And then what's this? Efficient repair. I think we go um, gun rotation speed, maybe. Or should we do a mining upgrade? We're moving pretty slow. Could do move speed. How much do I have? I have 15. Let's do enhanced bearing, which also unlocks enhanced bearings too, plus 20% gun rotation speed. That's interesting. So that, that'll make it 50 total, I guess. It's weird that it's it. the second upgrade is, is like a lower percentage upgrade. move speed that seems that seems good because we're moving pretty slow and then uh yeah let's exit the mine and we're gonna go up oh and i can shoot as well eh? oh it's beautiful environment oh and we put the suit on too that's cool That an explodey one? Oh god. Oh, you can shoot the bullets too, it looks like. No, it's definitely t taking the health out. Is this a shop? There's just someone chilling here? No, that's a skeleton! Day 11, bored, keep snacking out of boredom. I, f I feel you, that's like, that's my life. I wiped out a week's supply in three days. Okay. Oh, wow, give it to me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's like, can we drill them? So there's little story elements. I love this so far. Machine gun belt, uh, so we got the machine gun fire rate we can get. I say we go plasma cutter. Uh, exit mine. Okay. Get, so we're just getting used to the controls. We've got another mine here. Oh, I went past it a little bit. Oh yeah, look at that. Is it better if I'm closer? I can't really tell. Take the second to switch. 
from the cutter to the vacuum. We can also pull the, the stuff out, eh? Like I could pull this as we're moving. Oh, interesting. What, oh, there's a cloud up there. Oh, nice, I got him. Does that mean we're moving into another level? Upgrades. That music's pretty freaking intense. I say we go damage. Plus 75% damage from every bullet. Which unlocks expanding bullets too. Plus 30% damage. And then what's like way down here? How far does this go down? Increase caliber. Plus 10% damage from every bullet. I think we unlock new weapons from it like in between runs. Do I go back? I think I'm gonna go back and take a look. Yeah, good call. Let me know what you guys think of the game so far in the comments section. I love these micro strategy games that are coming out, like just, ooh. Found schematics, lightweight barrel, plus 30% gun rotation speed. It, that's a schematic though. Yeah, so I think this is awesome and I it, it's kind of neat that we're finding, oh, uh, look at that. Need that we're finding these little caves. Wait, 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 wait. Schematic, schematic, schematic. Uh, did that just add it to our to our spider? Oh, there it is, lightweight barrel. Neat. I would, I would just like. I know sometimes devs watch um, videos from creators that they've given keys to. I would actually put this, like, in a different spot, because people wouldn't, like, right away go to the bottom to see that stuff. Like, maybe next to the machine gun, like, above above where I'm at. Uh, okay. Belt or bearings again? Or do I save up? I say we keep expanding, keep upgrading when we can. I'm gonna keep going up. Looks like we passed through that cloud. Another set of clouds. Is this just for show or is it like we're gonna get attacked every time? Oh, I think I wanna keep like the target close to the gun so we can rotate it faster. So I'm out here, it's gonna rotate more slowly. Okay, well, I'm also less accurate, though. Oh, man. That's a lot of damage. And we can move while we're fighting. So we're more than half dead. <laughs> That's not good. I wouldn't expect to do super well in the first run anyways, though, because we're learning the game. And what's that? Is that the full amount of time that we have for the run? God, stop, stop. Oh, we can and we can move away from them. I didn't consider that. 
Can I run over these guys? Oh, I don't know if we're going to survive much longer. Did I go too high too fast, guys? Oh, we got an escape pod. Our Robo Spider was destroyed. Damn, we have 341, so I can't even... Oh, I can buy one thing. The Outer Shell Mark II, Spider dur Durability plus 50%. Okay, let's get that. And we can even upgrade it another level to 30% uh, more. Let's jump back in. These are like shorter shorter runs than... Uh, oh, wait. wait. Oh, there's oh there's a bunch more stuff. Sweet. What, what else is here? Masking plates. Increases the intervals between enemy waves by five seconds. Turbines allows the spider to make quick dash, make a quick dash up the wall. Speed hook allows the spider to make a quick dash down the wall. Up the wall and down the wall. And a rocket launcher. Nice. Uh, resource vacuum cleaner capacity 15. Plasma drill. When entering a new mine, the spider will automatically drill three blocks. And we don't know those yet. Maybe we need to find those. Let's jump back in. I say we go. Oh, well, I was going to say, let's go down this time, but we definitely want to grab this. I just vacuum everything up at the end, right? Is it going to be like Dome Keeper where we're trying to find the most efficient digging patterns? I just go down the go down the middle. That should be good. There's no timer for... Oh, look at the all the extra health that we have. Oh, maybe that's what the red is? It's the wave timer? That makes sense. It's like a scanner. Just start with it, too. Looks like that's heavier rock. Yeah, okay. I'm seeing that there's different thicknesses now. I should go back, because we're about to get hit. Good. All right. All right. I didn't see that at first. And uh, we zoom out when we're in this mode so we can see that there's another mine below us. Beautiful. Looks like we move just as fast when we're digging as when we aren't. I kind of dig that we're... I kind of dig. That was an unintentional pun. <laughs> First of all, I'm digging this game. Second of all... Um, I like that we, we'd get something for just digging the regular box. Okay. I'm going to... I'm going to... Trust my instincts and not just dig everything. Go down to this other mine. Maybe I should be kind of going down and then up. We'll kind of figure that out as we go. I think I just keep that suit on all the time, but that's just me. Ah, nice. Day 52, the knocking is back and now it's constant and sort of more insistent. My head is pounding and I can hear some words the knocking. Yeah, give me that. And that gem. What do we want to upgrade this time? Drilling efficiency. I still think the rotation speed. And movement. 
But we're about to get hit. I say we just go down this time. And next time we can maybe go up and down. See how that works out. I am using a controller and I, I wonder if it wouldn't be better to use mouse and keyboard. I like using controller for these games though. But if it's like way better to aim with mouse and keyboard, I might switch it up. Yeah, I think mining. Mining strength is good to get. Was there any reason to do that? I don't know. Have it all fall down to the bottom. Pick him. I think, yeah, this is probably pretty smart, eh? Just dig everything up and then bring it back. We could still, like, do this. Just, yeah, that seems smart to me, like. Drag, like, we don't have to uh, suck everything up, right? We can just kind of drag it as we move. Oh man, these guys. We can actually dodge the attacks too, eh? Oh, I missed it. Kinda hoping it'll hit. Oh, I didn't hit that flying one that was going around. Oh, that's different. Grassy. It's thick. And that's the even, that's the thicker part too. Good to know that it gets thicker also. What is this? Just an open spot? weird that you can do this. I don't know if this is intentional. Just being able to drag everything over. Must be, though. Okay, we're about to get attacked. What kind of upgrades can I get this time? Should we go with the expanding bullets? And then we have repair, which we don't need right now, but that's good that we have enough of the the green to repair. Plasma stability, plasma drill range. 15% movement speed. We can, I think we can do both of these. So we got 25% uh, machine gun fire rate and bearings. some better accuracy, that's what we need. Good 
Does it rotate faster when we're not shooting? I haven't really noticed that. I say we disconnect and we just go to the next one. I don't know if that's smart or not. We're still figuring out the game, but felt like we got a lot of what there was to get there. Just takes so long to move that maybe it is worth exploiting uh, mine entirely, right? Okay, I see. The laser moves to um, where you're pointing, so it's not a good idea to to move it over to the right. You want to keep it in the middle until you actually leave. The spider, which we will be calling uh, Carl. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, hello. And uh, I hope you do subscribe if you're enjoying the video. I always name all my like animals and stuff Carl in games. If you're wondering, it's K-A-R-L. So it would be K.A.R.L. And uh, let me know in the comment section what that should stand for. <laughs> it, it's gotta have a spidery meaning to it, right? Something mechanical and something spidery. I don't think I can upgrade anything. Okay. Yeah, see, we want... If we're, when we're waiting for it to disconnect, we want to do that. Just practicing. I guess once we get a long enough laser, we... Oh, shoot, I wasn't paying attention at all to... To the timer! It's so bad to get back late in these games. I want to take out the smaller guys first, eh? That's a lot of shots. Ugh. Oh, you fuck. Let's do a repair. Oh, we could do two. Okay, or well, what else can I buy? Efficient repair. Ugh. Should I save up for that? Plus 20% efficiency of all types of repair. 30% HP? Ceramic? Has a stability machine gun belt or fire rate or more movement speed. I'm going to try upgrading the machine gun more this time around so we can survive longer. We'll just let that drop. Oh, nice. What do we get? Boosted exoskeleton reactor. Plus 20 drilling efficiency. Plus 10% movement speed in the mine. Man, suck that drill up too. Oh, that's nice. So now we can use that information to determine which upgrades we want to prioritize, right? Worth drilling on, on the way back too, I think. Because we have this exosuit upgrade. Ooh, defocus drilling. Splits the tongue of the drill in three. Plus 70 drilling efficiency. We might want to prioritize like the plasma stability. And maybe puts once again put more points into machine gun or robo spider. More upgrades. Okay, let's exit this mine. I think it's moving at the same rate whether we're shooting or not. I I, I just have a suspicion clouds means you're passing into the, the next level, but I think it's more likely it's timing based. Uh, in Dome Keeper, it was also resource based. I don't know if they changed that. 
how many resources you had collected affects how powerful the waves are. Okay, like this is, uh, this is taking a while. Gonna be a tough one. I think we might be able to survive this. Still have a repair. That's it, though. Oh my god, the spread is so bad. I think I should have gone for, I think I should go for the melee guys. Because they're stationary, right? So, like, they're much easier to hit. So, I think I should prioritize... Yeah, I think I should prioritize them. I mean, I'm not going to be able to survive the next wave, eh? Ooh, but we're getting into a new biome area. Cool. My favorite thing about video games is exploration, so it's neat to see. It's just so neat to see, like, oh, what's coming up next? Seeing a new area. See, I want to keep the target there. Ooh. Wow. Oh, no. like way too much am I getting more more shiny is at least sort of stuff I've been paying attention looks like there's two two shinies oh that's that's a new one isn't it What resource is that? Oh, I don't. Yeah, this is this is it, eh? They, I don't know. Maybe it'll be a lighter wave. But I don't see why. It is later, so maybe... Oh, maybe not. Okay, go for this close one. Oh no, it's a spawner, dude. Is it going into spawn too? They, oh, they spawn the flying guys. I just noticed that. Okay, we're good. So this was a lighter wave, it felt like. Should I go? I guess I should go. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. It takes time to do that, so it's kind of like. You don't want to make those kinds of mistakes. One thing I would say is um, Dome Keeper feels like it has like tighter gameplay. This is a bit looser. Not that that's necessarily better or worse. I think I prefer the tighter gameplay. But I like that it's different, you know? I mean, we don't want to... You know, people making the same games over and over again. Or at least I don't want that. But I like the style. It's 
So I think probably what I've learned now is going up and down is the way to go. Because when we get to this point, we want to be able to mine more efficiently, right? And who knows, maybe the next mine won't be like this. Maybe it'll be... Maybe it'll be an easier one. I think we need to get this, the plasma cutter. More gun rotation though, just to be able to survive. Sounds good. that. Oh god. Those are drills or something, aren't they? Oh, they have guns. They're not drills, they're freaking lasers. Can I just leave the area? Is that like a possibility? I guess another option would be to just skip that mine and see if there's a lighter one further down. This looks like, yeah, okay, okay. So does it just increasingly get more difficult to mine? You'd wanna, in future runs, I'd want to just leave that mine and go back later. Just make a mental note. Good to know. That's what, you know, that's playing these games blind. That's, that's the way it is. Um, Got to think about how to improve and then implement that later on. You're, you're going to struggle at first until you don't. Yeah, I think this is the way to go. It's just like... Go as deep as possible, see what the mine has to offer. Suck it back. <laughs> I didn't, don't think I got any repair though. So I don't, I don't see us surviving much longer. Okay, another little uh, tip would be to make the highlight a different color because it's hard for me to see what's highlighted when I already have the upgrade. I couldn't see like what I what I was selecting. Okay, well we're gonna go with the bullets. And uh, let's exit the mines. We almost survived the full uh, time though. Go up. Definitely worth it moving though, eh? Okay, now we're moving down. Oh, we're going down. No! Pretty good though! 